I want to bring in now Yevhenia Krupchukke. She's a member of parliament in Ukraine. Help us break down the latest on the situation and also on the battlefront. Uh, as always, a pleasure to talk to you. I want to start with this conversation between President Zelensky and China's President Xi Jinping. Can you trust China at this point, given the relationship that she also has with Vladimir Putin? Uh, my pleasure. Um, thank you for inviting me. Of course, it's better to um, <clears throat> to believe not words, uh, but uh, what uh, countries do or don't do. Uh, but of course, uh, it's always good to have the direct contact. And I think it's uh, normal that President Zelensky uh, had a uh, speech, direct speech, uh, was the leader of China. But we'll see what comes out. We have to be realistic about it. Uh, but also, we have to understand that uh, it's, um, you know, what China realizes that the red line uh, is not to give any weapons to Russia. And um, I think that mentioning the nuclear, uh, uh, you know, possible nuclear conflict, uh, that's just a clear signal to uh, Russia itself, because Russia has been blackmailing uh, and saying that, oh, we were nuclear uh, power, so we can do whatever and uh, don't care about um, the world rules and uh, the rule of law. But we'll see what comes out. And also today, President Zelensky appointed an ambassador to China, so he will have a lot of job as well. Is President Xi in his conversation with Zelensky condemning any of the war crimes that we know have been taking place? And we also know Russian forces still have control of the nuclear plant. They're targeting civilians. They targeted and weaponized winter over the last few months. Did he make remarks on that? I haven't seen anything in public. Uh, it was just a short statement of the Chinese side in Chinese media. And we're still waiting for the official position and official statement from the office of the president. Um, and uh, maybe some more details would come. But uh, we, um, uh, when we say about, you know, the ceasefire, it's needed, uh, we cannot freeze the conflict. And I'm sure that President Zelensky explained the position uh, of Ukraine that stopping uh, just on this uh, um, uh, front line, which is right now, means freezing the conflict. And can, we cannot afford that. We need to liberate um, our land because uh, Russia will come back if uh, Putin sees uh, that uh, we're not strong. Uh, we, I mean the uh, Western democratic world, because it's not the regional conflict. It's the conflict between democ democracy and tyranny. Right. Now, let's talk about the battlefront and this army of drones uh, heading to the front line. What's your understanding of how soon they'll be put into action and the difference they may make? Uh, well, actually, these uh, small drones had been using uh, since 2014, but now it's uh, a real, um, I would say, everywhere because the front line is 800 miles. So on the front line, there are numerous um, uh, troops, uh, you know, s small, bigger, and for uh, for soldiers, it's actually ice in the air. They, they That's how they call these drones, ice in the air. They're really fast, um, uh, and uh, they are being used to uh, make a good target for the artillery and um, you know, uh, other uh, sorts of troops. Me, myself, I brought at least up to 10 such small drones uh, to the front. And, uh, you know, also they make some good videos where you could see in, in Twitter and, and, and other social media when uh, sometimes these small drones, they drop something that explodes. Uh, and um, uh, then, uh, you know, there are some, of course, casualties from Russian side, but that's a uh, war about. And actually, it's very uh, interesting how Ukrainians are getting gathering money uh, for drones. Of course, we're thankful for the uh, Hollywood stars and, and actually, the, yes, the Star Wars uh, star helped to collect money. By the way, on my um, uh, program that says that, you know, the air raid is on or off, I have the voice of Star Wars. So when the air raid is off, it says, uh, may the force be with you. And I really, you know, like it. Um, so I have it. It gives me confidence after the air raid is off. Uh, but also, uh, you know, what we did the volunteers took the skin of um, uh, uh, helicopters, Russian helicopters and Russian uh, jets uh, that were shut down uh, during the battle and made keychains out of this uh, skin and sold them for donations. And uh, for this money, bought drones and sent to kill some more Russians. So it's even written on these uh, keychains that it was made in Russia but uh, uh, recycled in Ukraine.
Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.